So Luma just released their 1.6 Dream Machine model and it comes with new and advanced camera motion controls. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, camera control motions, that's it? Well, what if I told you that Runway Gen 3 doesn't have any camera control motion? Yeah, that's right, how dare you? Anyway, I thought I'd do a quick video showcasing each one of these controls and how they work. But first, let's set ourselves up for success by creating our very own Luma Dream Machine prompt guide. All right, so let's head to Luma Dream Machine. Let's click here where it says prompt guide. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to copy all of this information, including the screenshots. I want you to head to ChatGPT and enter all of the information into a specific chat. And finally, all you have to do is instruct ChatGPT to act as a prompt guide for Luma Dream Machine, and it will provide you curated prompts. All right, now let's check out the camera controls. All right, so at the top here, it says camera motion is here in Dream Machine 1.6, and we click learn more. Yeah, and it tells us introducing camera motion, type camera in the prompt box to get fluent, beautiful camera motion or type move push orbit for fast order completion to control camera movement. All right, so when I type the word camera, it gives me all of the options here. And when I hover over each one and you can see there, there is like a little animation illustrating the type of motion for the camera. Now, if I click on crane up, it will add that camera motion into the prompt. And to speed things up, you can write stuff like orbit, which is one of the camera motions, and it'll give you those two options. Now, to be fair, I was hoping that they would give some sort of drop down box that I can select the camera motions as opposed to typing them, but it's not the end of the world for me. All right, let's test out all of the camera control options. First, the push in camera, it's great for when you're looking to create a moment of intense focus, like really zooming in on someone's expression or a key detail, Push-ins is your go-to. Next, pull-out is about expanding the view. And this is great when you want to show the bigger picture, like pulling back from a close-up to reveal the entire landscape or setting. Now, pan left and pan right are all about moving horizontally across the scene. And these are awesome for exploring environments or tracking action. Then there's move left and move right, which is when the camera physically moves along with the action. And this is ideal for dynamic, high energy scenes. With Crane Up, you're elevating the camera vertically, which is fantastic for revealing more of the scene as it rises. Crane Down does the opposite. It's about descending into the scene, and this is perfect for exploring lower levels or hidden depths. And finally, we have Orbit Left and Orbit Right, and these motions let the camera circle around a subject, giving you a 360 degree view. Now, yesterday I did a video showcasing how to generate cinematic shots using the Flux image generator. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. So I grabbed a bunch of those images and I asked ChatGPT which camera motion and prompt would work best with this image. So you can see there that it's given me so now you can see that it's given me specific prompts and it's also told me what camera motion would work well for that specific image. Okay, so let's grab the prompt and this one was a crane up. So let's go to Luma and let's write crane up. Okay, and then we paste the prompt here and let's upload the specific image. So I did this one. All right, so I did that for all of the generations and let me show you the end results. All right, this was the first image. ChatGPT suggested that camera crane up was the best one. Um, there could be other ones as well, but this is this was the uh, result for this one. All right, this was the next image. ChatGPT suggested a camera push in and it was an over the shoulder cinematic shot. So I can see why it thought that was the best prompt. All right, next, this was a close up of a character and it suggested a camera push in as well. Well, which yeah it makes sense next was this one which is one of the dolly shots and it's suggesting camera move right now in this case yeah you can see they're kind of messed up uh and the character's supposed to be running down the alleyway as well but yeah i'm not too sure if that was the correct option or if it was just a mistake by the luma dream machine all right then we have this one which was a low angle shot and ChatGPT suggested a camera crane up now to be quite honest it doesn't look like it's done that very well as well, but I think if you did it maybe two or three times, you'll probably get a better result. Now, this was a high angle shot and ChatGPT suggested that we do a camera crane down. And you know what? It actually worked very well. It's like slow, slightly moving down. I didn't want to move it down too much. So this one definitely is a really good one. And the last one, this is actually a tracking shot of the surfer. So 
the chat GPT thought, let's move it to the left, which makes absolute sense, okay? And obviously this was just the first generation. I'm sure if you do it two or three times, you'll get a really good outcome. All right, now let's have a look at some of the generations that the community have generated so far. Starting with David Comfort, and he's done a great, what's he saying here? Using the camera control in Luma Labs along with the keyframes can create some interesting results. And he's done camera pushing as well. Not bad. I'm actually pretty impressed with the results. Great work, David. All right, next we have this one from Elsine. I think he's done pan left because the camera is panning to the left. But great work. I mean, it only just came out today. So, so I mean, this is a great um, generation. Good work. This was really good by Pierrick and he's done camera orbit left. And this makes sense because you could definitely use this for some sort of product showcase as well. So this was uh, brilliant. Then we have Ala Holtzen. Um, and he's just showing his one here. I think this one is very similar as well. It's camera, I'm pretty sure it's it's panning to the left, but it's actually a very good shot. Great work, Allah. So that's it for the video, guys. I just wanted to show you guys everything. I think this is a win for Luma, and in my opinion, it does match the increase from 1.5 to 1.6. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.